that the most important thing in the world is salvation of the lost soul. Isn't that right. changed? Right. Win everyone you can. Go after every soul like a hobo on a hot dog. Amen? <laughs> Go after those that like killing snakes. I mean, get out and give everybody the gospel. Yes, sir. I mean, we already thought about 25%. My soul. If you 75% of the people you witness to don't get saved, we got to cover a lot of ground. Just get a few folks saved. Amen. Right. Matthew 16, 26 says, For what is a man profit if he gains the whole world, the whole world, not part of it, the whole world, and loses his own soul? Or what can a man give in exchange for his soul? Soul winning should never take second place to any other part of the church or the ministry. I'm, a, I'm an evangelist. I'm a preacher. I've been, I've been ordained. i got a thing up there. I I don't know what that's. I don't know if that's really important or not. Whatever. I got some thoughts on that. I won't go into that. <laughs> that don't make you a preacher, God. You got a piece of paper. Yeah. But I mean, it looks nice and it uh, it shows us some, you know, certain things. But let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I can preach. I can go all around. I can be an evangelist. But number one, number one. I need to be a soul winner. We need to, we train our children to sing for God. We train our children to do this and do that. And we and we skip over the fact of teaching them how to lead somebody. We need to get folks saved. We need to tell them how to get saved. I know every plan you can think of almost. I used to, I went to Hiles Anderson College and I was in the Fisherman's Club. I came back to church and started a Fisherman's Club in our own church. I know all kinds of plans, all kinds of up and down this and verse, and you need to know those. Nothing wrong with that. But let me tell you, Paul said this. He'd run up on those old preachers, those old kings, and get in those courtrooms and all that. And Paul would say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me talk about something here just a minute. Let me tell you about that time I was on the Damascus Road. Yes, sir. Right. I mean, you can tell anybody how you got saved what Jesus done for you. That's what you can do. Amen. 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 Praise God. We ought to be soul winners. Right. Only know. See, religion is the worst enemy of salvation. That's right. the truth. Of Not everyone will accept the seed. That's right. That's but there will always be some to open their hearts to the good news Amen. of salvation. Amen. 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 I tell you the honest truth, and I haven't got like this. I, I don't claim to be a, and y'all may not know what I'm talking about, but your preacher will. I know him several of you will. A Baptist brighter. Yes. Yeah. I'm not necessarily a Baptist brighter, but I've heard this kind of stuff, and, and I've even said it some myself. I believe they're saved Catholics. I believe they're saved Pentecostals. I believe they're saved this. I believe they're saved that. You know, that sounds real good. Sounds good. Come on. And I'm not, I'm not judging it. Don't get me wrong. But I'm telling you this. I'll tell you this. The older I get, the more I feel this way. If you don't believe the gospel, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, and if you don't believe salvation forever, once you're saved, you're saved forever. If you don't believe in eternal security, and you don't believe the gospel, then I don't care what you are. You're lost. You, you can be 14 kind of Baptist and still die and go to hell. That's right. And I haven't got that way, so I'll tell you the truth. I, my son Evan brought something up to me about Southern Gospel music. Well, most of the Southern Gospel, I've done a little research on this now, and i got to hurry here. But, but I'm going to tell you something, this Southern Gospel music, I'm talking about the industry. I'm talking about what Bill Gaither's turned it into. I mean, you can go down the list. There's very few Baptists in yeah. Southern Gospel yeah. music. Yeah. Yeah. So what does that tell you? Scratch your head and think about it and say, yeah. if there's very few people yeah. and they're Pentecostal, then they don't even believe in eternal security. Right. They believe you got to work for it. Yeah. They believe you got to work to keep up the notes. Jesus just laid down paper. Right. Come on. That's right. Yeah. And then you got all these others. you got some... The 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 uh, the uh, uh, Isaac family, or I think they're a Jewish or something. Yeah, whatever, they're Jews. Whatever they are whore. So, yeah, my name. And all I'm saying, all I'm saying is this: we turn on that radio 
and we listen to that kind of stuff. Yeah. And really what we're listening to is lost people sing to us. Yeah. I, I just got to listen to George Jones. Yeah. And that's not a lot. I'm not, I'm not promoting George Jones. Don't get me wrong. But you might as well put all of it together. Amen. Source of life. We used to get their material when I was director of the Atlanta City Baptist Rescue Mission. The Walkers were over there. Yeah, brother, brother and Mrs. Walker. And we used to get their material and I'd put those men on that stuff and and because I've trusted it. I trusted yes, the, the doctrine in it. I mean they, I read it all. I studied it all. I never handed out anything I didn't study myself. That's good. And but I'm telling you, it's about salvation. Now the next thing missions is about number two is this: it's about the scripture. Yeah. It's about the scriptures. If you don't know the book, it don't matter what you know. <laughs> See, That's right. you and all, you and I don't have uh, any power to help anyone, right. but the Word of God can help. Yeah. Hey, listen, if I could change you or your children, guess what? It wouldn't last long. Right? Yeah. That's right. My wife. Now, now, now let me say this to you, ladies. Let me say this to you ladies. Now, I think last time I was here, something came up. Your preacher said something about this that uh, y'all are known as a church over here where that main preacher wouldn't let those ladies wear pants. Wasn't that something was said about this church? Somebody said they visited or done something, and, and that preacher said, hey, oh yeah, I know about that church. Now, that's where that preacher won't let them ladies wear pants. Let me tell you something. My wife does not wear pants. Now, I'm not getting no money. Oh, yeah. I'm just telling you this, okay? Yeah, it's my right. personal testimony. Yeah. But you know what? My wife don't wear pants, but I never one time in our marriage has ever told her since 1965, I never told my wife not to wear uh, anything but dresses. I never told her not to wear pants. Yeah, yeah. You say, Brother Gary, you, you, you agree with it? I, I, I agree with it wholeheartedly, but you know what? She saw it in the Word of God. The Holy Spirit took the Word of God. There you go. Because it's in the Word. And she said, I don't need to do this. So let me tell you, that's you, your children. How are you going to get your children to turn out like? You make a lot of moves and you make them off the chart. Holy Ghost. 